In light of President Biden's May 27th visit to Ohio, Ohio Republican Party Communications Director Tricia McLaughlin spoke with real Ohioans to see how the Biden-Harris administration's energy agenda has impacted their jobs, communities, and the economy. Ohioans have grave concerns regarding energy jobs, businesses, and the future of the industry. David Hill is a petroleum geologist and has been in the oil and gas field for 41 years. An expert in the energy industry, Hill has seen firsthand the effects of the Biden-Harris administration's energy policies. Well, let me talk about how this has affected my industry personally. Just yesterday, I met with a group of my investors. Oftentimes, oil and gas projects take two to five years to develop. And then after that, it may take two to five years to actually get our money back if we're successful. So we're having these plans, but we're going to slow down our plans because we don't know what regulations are coming to us with, through the Biden administration. So I'm not saying that we're going to stop exploration, but we are definitely going to pause and be more methodical and see how things develop. And what implication has that had on workers? At laying off? Are you pausing hiring? What does that look like? Well, what we're doing now, because of we're waiting to see what regulations are going to come out of Washington, D.C., we've put a pause on hiring. Mm -hmm. I can't make those uh, commitments to families and then not know whether I can keep them on board or not. Al Landis is a former Ohio House representative from Tuscarawas County. Landis spent eight years in the State House with four years as the chair of the House Energy Committee. Landis spoke with us about the economic boom in some of the most rural parts of Ohio due to its rich natural resources. A lot of, a lot of hard work that went into this, you know, creating an atmosphere and an environment where, you know, we were going to uh, take advantage of the energy here in Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, we were energy rich. And what we saw was, you know, we saw counties that were totally, completely decimated, you know, because of uh, coal leaving and, uh, you know, poverty and, and uh, so we have the, have the, uh, you know, oil and gas come in, and we saw we began to flourish. We started to see small businesses pop up. However, Landis is very concerned about the future of Ohio's energy supply and local jobs under the Biden-Harris administration. You know, my concerns now with with the administration uh, that we have now is that uh, we're going to see that start to slide backwards. We're starting to see businesses close. Uh, you know, people that had been uh, had, had risen up and taken jobs you know, like welding mm -hmm. and, uh, and truck drivers. You know, those jobs are going away because, because of the policy of this administration. Cole Newhart is a graduate student at Ohio University studying mechanical engineering. Newhart hopes to take his education and follow in his father's footsteps, who spent decades in the oil and gas industry. But he has some serious concerns about the prospect of those aspirations under the Biden-Harris administration. Uh, I'm from Southeast Ohio and my family's been involved in the gas industry for many years. Uh, my dad started out right out of high school. He went into working construction, building compressor stations. So he got a job with uh, Columbia Gas Transmission. At the time, I believe it was owned by NYSource, and uh, worked there ever since. The energy industry is attacked, and it's all about damage to the environment, where we need to consider the environmental goals, uh, as well as the economic impacts that these industries have. As far as my family and community, my father lost his job after 24 years. Uh, he had no marks on his record, uh, the difficulties with that. But I feel as if some of that is caused by these regulations cracking down on the industry. Joe Biden's radical environmental policies have real impact on Ohio jobs and the state's economy. Prices at the pump have already surpassed $3 a gallon. More than 200,000 Buckeyes are employed by the oil and gas industry. Ohio is the fifth largest producer of natural gas in the country and the 12th largest crude oil producing state. Our four refineries process nearly 600,000 barrels of crude oil a day. The Biden-Harris administration's radical approach to energy will have real-life consequences for Ohio workers, businesses, and the economy.